What we have learned from police at this point is that everything happened about 930 last night and it involved a fight that happened in the area near Front and Walnut Streets here in the city of Harrisburg. Remember, there were big crowds right where I'm standing right here along the riverfront and people were heading across the bridge. They were running from this area because they thought that there was a shooting that had happened last night and police say that there was no shooting. In fact, Police Commissioner Tom Carter says it appears that one of the juveniles that was involved in this fight may have thrown a firecracker at the ground, and that may have sparked the panic that people had about a shooting happening here in Harrisburg. This prompted, again, a mass evacuation from the area. People were running from what they thought was the scene of a shooting, many of them going across the bridge, thousands here in Harrisburg for the 4th of July celebration. You also had the Senators game across the street. Police Commissioner Tom Carter addressed some of the concerns about what happened last night. People lost their kids. Um, they left their personal belongings behind. Uh, <clears throat> the best of my knowledge that there were no injuries, no one got injured or anything like that, no one taken to the hospital. Police Commissioner Tom Carter said that no one was injured, as you just heard. He also said that one juvenile was arrested. This is not an adult. This is a child. He said that this person had been arrested. They weren't going to be releasing any additional information, though, because of the age of that person. Again, a lot of details still coming out about what happened last night. The city is going to be having an area where people can collect belongings that they left here last night at Reservoir Park. We'll have more information about that going up on WGAL.com as well. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.